Well, greetings friends around the world. Three months ago I presented a video, a true or false apostle. That video, I, through that video I received many, many responses. Responses from various church groups and also the church of God in question. One of their members wrote to me and asked a question. He said, could a Christian or a minister who claims to be a minister of Jesus Christ act with sociopathic tendencies or characteristics? And I wrote back to the individual and I said, well, you know, you need to uh, examine the individual yourself. You need to examine whether a person is a sociopath or not by the various ten tendencies or characteristics that are evident within that person's life. You know, you have to decide those symptoms of a sociopath. Of course, we all have to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, and we also have to prove those things that are good and hold fast to them. A sociopath's tendencies are as follows. They are often angry, often angry. They love to manipulate others to get what they want. They act witty and charming to get their own way. They lie frequently. They act with collusion to steal. They act aggressively and argue to get their own way often. They break the law, specifically God's law. They don't care for the safety of others. They don't show guilt or remorse for their actions, whether those actions are towards family, friends, or just any other person. They don't show guilt or remorse. And, of course, they are arrogant. Well, be that as it may, this false prophet that we are discussing gave a sermon and a Bible study in the year 2010, where he claimed to be the symbolic high priest Joshua. The sermon is titled Zechariah 3, Joshua Identified, Part 1 and 2. As I said, it was a sermon and Bible study. Now, in a recent letter on his website, he seems to be about to appropriate and announce that he, David Pack, is the Joshua discussed in the prophetic books of Zechariah and Haggai. You know, he uses Herbert Armstrong, of course, he's always quoting Herbert W. Armstrong, and very seldom do you find him quoting Jesus Christ, but mostly Mr. Armstrong. He quotes Herbert W. Armstrong's prophetic statements in a 1974 letter to support his own claims to this uh, Joshua proclamation. Now, listen, let, let's listen to what he writes on this website. And he says, Mr. Armstrong taught something different about it. About what? About ha the prophet Haggai's book. Mr. Armstrong taught something different about it. He understood that he was a type of Zerubbabel and left open who would fulfill the role of Joshua. You will learn why. Now, that's interesting. Already that statement tells you something. Herbert Armstrong claimed to be a type of Zerubbabel who was building the end time temple. Just like Joshua was given the responsibility as the governor uh, and assisted by Joshua to build the uh, second temple. Now he claims and he says, uh, as Mr. Armstrong was a type of Zerubbabel, he left open who would fulfill the role of Joshua. Mr. Armstrong never ever said anything about a future Joshua's role. Never said it. In all of his letters, at one time he claimed his son, Gonatel Armstrong, might have been Joshua who was assisting him at the time in doing what the work they were doing. But Pax says, you will learn why. He goes on and he says in his letter, if brethren had better understood prophecy, had through the years been hearing the clarity of its many crucial truths, for our time, they would not be following raging false prophets like Gerald Flurry or outright fiction writers like Ron Wineland, who mangles everything about prophecy. Notice how Pack rises above the members of the church by what he writes. He is actually telling them that he is the only one that understood the clear truth of prophecy. He forgets that he followed Dr. Meredith into the global church of God, and that that same man, Dr. Meredith, fired and defrocked David Pack 
in 1999. And of course, soon thereafter, he started the Restored Church of God, which was full of problems, many problems in 1999, with the lies that he was telling. Dave Pack continues in his letter, Recently, newer and self-appointed prophets, those far out on the lunatic fringe, notice his language here, notice this, they far out on the lunatic fringe, they're lunatics, I'm telling you they're lunatics, he says, of so-called churches of God, have done their part to confuse the smaller numbers within their reach, False prophets come with many faces, and I can attest to that, because I've seen the faces of David Pack. I've seen them on his deck, relaxed. I've seen him in his house at dinner. I've seen him in meetings where he's addressing the entire church. I've seen him in private conversations in his office. I've seen him harangueing his staff. I've seen him uh, arguing and fighting with people. I've seen him firing people. And of course, my own incident with uh, abuse and my wife's abuse with him when he uh, fired me and disfellowshipped me because I did not agree with him claiming to be the high priest Joshua. Anyway, let's continue. He goes on, he says, Most in the world specialize in confusing, incomplete, deceitful theories of how the future will play out. None should follow such men to the kitchen, never mind the kingdom of God. Yet thousands do follow them. Sadly, Almost like Muslim extremists, many followers of such prophets over time become permanently radicalized. Now he also uses the Muslim community in a derogatory way. He despises the leaders of Christian churches. Now he also despises Islam. This man, there's no end to this man's arrogance and self-exaltation. Absolutely no end to it. He continually sets himself up as an authority of who is right and who is wrong. Everything, everything revolves around David Pack. Everything. You know, Jesus Christ said in the scriptures, Honor your father and your mother, and you shall love your enemy. No, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor. Jesus Christ said in, in other uh, instances that we need to love our enemies. Yes, we need to love them, no matter who they are. The problem with this self-proclaimed uh, false apostle is that he loves himself, and he demeans and disparages all who do not rise to his standard, or all those who do not want to rise to his standard. Notice what his next proclamation will be. He quotes from Herbert Armstrong discussing the prophecy of the book of Haggai. Mr. Armstrong was discussing it, and in a 1974 letter, God said to the people under Zerubbabel, and I'm quoting Herbert Armstrong, and Joshua, they were wasting their labor, sowing much and bringing in little. This was due to their selfishness, lack of zeal for the work, of, the work God had called them to do. And they had a self-centered way of life. Then in verse 12, Zerubbabel and Joshua and the people repented and obeyed God and feared God and went to work getting... God's job done. Dave Pack says, Mr. Armstrong taught something different about it. He understood that he was a type of Zerubbabel, and he left open who would fulfill the role of Joshua. You will learn why. What will be shown over the next weeks is entirely God's prophecy from His Word, explaining and conveying through the only office He ever uses to bring biblical truth to His church. Is that true? Well, we'll discuss where biblical truth comes from at another, in another video at another time. Dave Pack continues, and notice what he says in this paragraph, setting his members up for the soon coming proclamation. He writes, Mr. Armstrong in time came to realize that he would die, and without knowing Joshua's identity. It is not in the immediate purpose here to identify Joshua. That will come later. Notice that. This uh, he said, Mr. Armstrong died without knowing Joshua's identity. It is not the immediate purpose here to identify Joshua. That will come later. But it's important to realize that Mr. Armstrong knew he was Zerubbabel, and that Joshua would follow Zerubbabel and be revealed in his time. As with learning that he was Zerubbabel, and then teaching it to the church, 
Mr. Armstrong obviously realized that Joshua would similarly learn his own identity and also similarly teach it to the church. What hogwash, what nonsense. Mr. Armstrong, no way discussed that a future Joshua would be announced. That's hogwash. In other words, what David Pack is telling you and telling me and telling the members of his church that I, David Pack, am Joshua. That's what he's telling them. Be very, very circumspect about where you direct your allegiance. Be very careful who you join as a member. Be careful of who you give your allegiance to. Jesus Christ said in John chapter 5, verse 39, and I'll read it, and he said, Search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. And you will not come to me that you might have life. I receive not honor from men. Jesus said, don't search the scriptures. You search them and you think you have eternal life in them. But you will not come to me. You will not come to me because those same scriptures testify of me. But you won't come to me. No, they run to a man rather. Jesus Christ said, I receive not honor from men. Like Jesus Christ, neither should you. This is Michael Venish from the Scattered Brethren saying, Goodbye, my friends.